Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is coronavirus latest in continuing pattern. So today's video is based upon a video itself from the New England Journal of Medicine from a panel presentation that they had back in April of 2018. And this was a major panel presentation on epidemics, specifically uh, infectious epidemics. And if you, and I'll leave a link in the show notes to this panel, the New England Journal of Medicine just recently republished this uh, video on their website because the overall consensus on this panel is that they knew this was going to happen. They knew it. Now, more specifically, Tom Frieden, who is the former director of the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, he says in this video, there is a 100% chance that there will be a global epidemic. He said a 100% chance. It is guaranteed. Okay. Likewise, Dr. Harvey Feinberg, who is from Harvard University, and he was um, not only the head of the School of Public Health there, but he actually was the head of what is the Institute of Medicine, National Academy of Medicine now. So this hugely prominent individual. He said, look, coronavirus is just... And they, by the way, this is April of 2018, so they didn't even know about coronavirus. He just said, look, future infectious epidemics are just the latest in a series of infectious epidemics that have already been happening. Specifically, SARS back in 2002, MERS, Zika, Ebola, H1N1. These are all viruses in the past 18 years. One, two, three, four, five. We've already had five within the last 18 years, and now coronavirus is number six. In other words, on average, one every three years. So what is happening with coronavirus today is not just out of the blue, it fits a pattern. And that's what everybody on this panel was saying. Now the question becomes, well, why? Why is this a pattern? Why is this happening? And Dr. Feinberg gives his explanation for that. He says, one, it's because of the dramatic increase in the world population and the dramatic increase in the urbanized population of the world. There are going to be another 2.5 billion people, specifically in cities, by 2050. Okay, so that's only in the next um, 30 years. Okay, and 90% of that is going to occur in Asia and Africa. And so when we talk about the emergence of coronavirus today, it has played into the large urbanization in Asia, just like he said. Next up, air travel. The amount of air travel across the world, you can literally go from one point of the world to another point of the world with the virus, with an infection, and you will be completely asymptomatic. That means you can't scream for it for a person getting onto a plane. So the point is, is that it will go undetected and spread across the world. And that is exactly what has happened again with coronavirus. Again, this is 2018 that they said this. Next up, there will be two, oh, by the way, there will be two times more air travel in just 20 years. So just the amount of potential worldwide spread is only going to increase. It's going to double. Okay, next up, food animals. Okay, pigs, cows, poultry, etc. They are the source of 75% of human infections. 75% comes from the animals. Where did coronavirus come from? It came from an animal. Where does the flu come from? It comes from an animal. Where does Ebola come from? It comes from an animal. So, these are reservoirs of illness. Now, not only has the human population dramatically increased, the human population, if you put it all together, is 350 million tons of people, of biomass of people, okay? There is one billion tons of food animals on the planet, pigs, chickens, cows, etc. So there are three times as much animal biomass compared to human biomass. So as much as we talk about the spread of infections amongst people, those infections can spread within animals as well because there's so many more of them, and then they jump to people. It's a much larger reservoir than in the past. Okay, then he also, in less detail, he goes on to talk about the environment and natural disasters and wars as a source as well. Now, the logo for this talk, the main graphic for this talk, 
has a picture of an animal. And guess what animal that is? It's a bat. Which is exactly what coronavirus came from. Because so many coronaviruses come from bats. So, they knew back in 2018 that there was a huge connection with bats and a huge connection with animals and a huge connection with population, urbanization, air travel, and food animals. And so, what my point is for today is, is that I'm not trying to place blame. They knew whether or not we listened or didn't listen, that's not what I'm trying to say. My point is, is that the conditions that created coronavirus today will likely exist and create viruses in the future. And thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.